Number 8. Norlan Devlog. Intrigues and Relationships. Hello and welcome to our devlog in which we are talking more about the aspect of intrigues and relationships in Norland. One of the consequences of the decision to divide characters into walking and idle classes was the appearance of the significant amount of free time for the player's lords. Yes, they perform tasks to manage buildings, learn and trade study books, fight and hunt, but they still have free time, which they use for entertainment and intrigue. Characters can just among themselves our meals, discussing on the weaver or other topics. Icons for these topics are displayed in the conversation cloud. But sometimes they can stop in front of each other and start chatting more seriously. This is called deep communication. The type of deep communication the characters choose depends on a variety of factors. Their relationship, mutual interest, exposure to alcohol, religious fanaticism and so on. Thus they may joke viciously or kindly, support each other in a friendly way, insult each other, visit during illness, ignore, flutter, flirt or intrigue the third persons. The latter action, intrigue, can be a very powerful indirect weapon. For example, Peter hates Jeremy, yet has a high skill in oratory. He begins to constantly intrigue against Jeremy, telling those around him what a scoundrel he is and may end up provoking a dangerous feud against Jeremy. At the same time, Jeremy may continue to believe that Peter is his friend. Deep communication is much more common, we've guessed. Everyone is interested in hearing gossip from the overtown. And the player can also provoke communication himself by suggesting that the characters spend time together. Communication is one of the most important ways to change relationships between characters, but there are other factors that lead to the generation of the stories. Characters can simply fall in love with each other, be envious of wealth, be jealous of the object of love and feel hatred. An important source of potential conflict is social status. Heirs to the throne have a negative bonus to their relationship with the king, and those who follow them in seniority hate the heirs. The trait of ambition amplifies these feelings. Combined with other factors, this can lead to deadly hatred which can result in killing or poisoning an enemy and as a result taking his place. But sometimes, contrary to ambition, dirty rumors and envy, characters can become friends. End quote and sorry for my bad English. Thanks for watching.